Tommy, what's the rumpus? Heard any big news lately? Something that Don might want to know. Yeah, it depends. <laughs> what's it worth to you? Twenty bucks. How about forty? All right, spill. The FBI's in town. They're getting something from Morello, but I, I don't know what. How'd you hear? Little Tony got some guy drunk in the Black Cat and drove him home. Heard a bunch of stuff, so he's the guy you want to see. Okay. Thanks. Always a pleasure, Tommy. No, it's not. What's this about the guy you drove home who's with the feds? He came in for a drink, which turned into ten. He's hired muscle for some kind of safe house. Where? Oak Hill, corner of Pine. He gave me ten bucks to drive him back and keep my mouth shut. Let on that Councilor Gilatis brokered some kind of deal between Morello and the FBI. They were all ready to sit tight on someone in there. Why the hell didn't you tell us? Tom, I did. I came in to see Frank straight away. He didn't tell the Don? No. No, he didn't. Tom? What's going on? Between his teeth. 
Looks like the place. Take me to those account books, Frank. We return now to cover what could be the final play of this game and the series between the Lost Heaven Lancers and the Empire Bay Cannons. A quick reminder that this final inning is being brought to you by Swift Cola. When you need a lift, reach for a Swift. It's not only a taste sensation, it's guaranteed to increase focus, drive, and mental clarity. Pick up a bottle of Swift Cola today. And as we are coming to a close, let me thank today's other sponsors. Big Break Cigarettes and Lost Heaven Coins. Where are they moving you to? teams could be said to be entering golden eras. Each team has a star player at the core with promising youngsters set around them. I refer, of course, to Smith and Seidel. The Cannons have had several such gold periods. The Lancers, it's fair to say, have not. I can see Lancers manager Frankie Hogg prowling in front of the dugout, gesticulating. Seems animated, to say the least. Looks like he's putting one of the officials in his place or something or other. With the noise of the crowd, it is quite hard to say for sure. Whatever's going on down there, you can feel the sense of occasion, and you just know that whatever happens... Orly on the crowd hotel is open again after the cast. ...has happened. The Lancers are now within minutes of snatching the gold series, which at one stage it appeared doomed. But they equally teeter on the edge of the beach. It all comes down to the final play. Nobody is warming up in the bullpen. Nobody down there is considering the possibility of it. There could be some kind of meat happening. Standing on the mound, a look of steel and determination on his face. He betrays no emotion. Doesn't look nervous or tired after his exertions this series. Nor does he appear to be carrying the weight of expectation. He's having a hold of the umpire about something or other. A strapping fella, 6'2", 195 pounds. And the Lancers are going to win here today. He's going to write himself into the record books. And boy, oh boy, what that would mean to the people of Lost Heaven after such a long time without glory on the diamond. All right, they've sorted out whatever was going on. Here we go then. Into the cannons, it's Patty Duffy. Smith is pitching the game of his life, but Duffy's a big man. He can catch one, it could run, and with bases loaded, the cannons would have it. Here we go. Doherty facing down Smith. The pass one and strike. The big man thought he... Ah, uh, shit. They taking you to the airport, Frank? It's fair to say Doherty looks a little spooked. He was convinced he had it. His body language tells the tale. Smith was in his cool under pressure, not a flicker of emotion on his face. Two arms up. 